What's up guys, DIY Slaps here with another great informational video. Today we're gonna be taking an image and converting it into a cookie cutter directly from the image. So we're gonna start in Tinkercad and we're just going to bring in a cookie cutter generator that I've posted um, for public use. So you guys can go up to the search once you get into Tinkercad at the top right. You're gonna search for a 3D design and I'm gonna type in cookie cutter generator. And what's gonna be first is this cookie cutter generator that's up here. Um, what I want you to do is click that and we're gonna copy and tinker that. Once that's copied into Tinkercad, this is going to be our generator we're gonna to use to actually create our cookie cutter. If you click on the generator itself, it's going to ask you for a picture it says it only accepts SVG files under one megabyte. So we're going to take an image and we're going to convert it to an SVG and we're gonna drag and drop it in here. So let's go over to Google Images. Um, for this, I'm just going to do a heart cookie cutter. So I'm gonna go heart and then I'm gonna type in PNG after that. So we have no background behind it. Now, before we keep moving, um, now that we have our search, we're going to be hitting transparent background to get rid of that. And we also want it to be black. It doesn't really matter if it's colored. Um, it just makes it easier if it's black for SVG conversion purposes. So here's a black heart PNG file. I'm gonna click on our image. I'm gonna right click it and hit save as and I could throw it on my desktop. I'm just gonna overwrite this one that I already have and it drops it down here in the bottom of Google Chrome. So now I'm gonna move over to a converting website. This is called conversio.co. You can just Google the name conversio and go to this website. Um, I'm going to drag my heart right off the bottom. It's gonna show this plus sign and I'm gonna drop it onto the website. Once I have it on the website, it's ready to convert it. I need to convert this to a SVG file. So I'm gonna click the carrot here and I'm gonna choose SVG. Once it says it's ready, I'm gonna click convert. It's going to change our PNG file with a transparent background to a SVG file that could be brought into Tinkercad. Once this is done converting, I'm going to download my file and you could see it showed up at the bottom of my window here. I'm gonna make my way back to Tinkercad and I'm going to drag my heart SVG up to where it says drop your picture here. Once I've dropped it in there, what's happening in the background is this is converting this into a actual cookie cutter. And now you could see we could change our size of our cookie cutter just by adjusting. Um, and then we have a bunch of different options down here. So we have our cutter size, which we could increase or decrease. And this is a little slower generator, so it's not going to move as quickly um, as you would want. What I would say is for cutter size, um, I would just use the regular Tinkercad size resize tool um, with a cutter blade. So that's going to be the cutter blade that um, is actually inside that we're going to cut our cookies out with. I could change that. I'm gonna change the color of this so we could actually see it better. Height of cutter, so I could change the height of the cutter. I could lower the height or I could increase the height mattering on how big of a cookie I want. The width of the flange, so the flange at the bottom of it, I could change the width of that and make it smaller or larger mattering on what I'm using it for. And then the height of the flange, so maybe I don't want my cookie as big. I could raise the flange up to get a better grip on it. I could lower the flange. Um, to make it easier to use. So that's how we do it. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.